watching Let's Chat. With the rainy weather we have had over the past several weeks, you may be noticing things looking a little bit different, maybe smelling different in your home. Here with some answers for you is Ernest Higgins, the owner of Basement and Crawl Space Solutions. Good morning, Ernest. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, tell me a little bit about your business. It's basement waterproofing, foundation experts, a little bit of everything. So okay. tell me about the business and how you got into this business as well. So really how we got into it is I am a licensed home inspector in the state of Tennessee. And what we started seeing was uh, a lot of people when we would come to do a home inspection would say, you know, we just spent $10,000 in our crawl space and everything's perfect. And we get down there and find bulk water intrusion or fungal growth and we have to break the news to them in a bad way. So what we decided to do was just kind of nip that in the bud. There's no sense in spending a lot of money on something that's not your exact answer that you need for your solution there. So we decided to just say, Let's start a company that gives our clients what they need, not what we want to sell them. Perfect. Being an honest, a reliable company, of course, you guarantee to provide the exact solution needed, not a Band-Aid, but to fix the problem. All right, talk to me about what some of the signs are that we should be looking for that we might be seeing here lately since we've had some rain in our homes. So absolutely. So one of the main things you're going to see is a bulk water intrusion, which means some standing water in your basement area. Very visible. You can see that. Um, pretty simple. But a couple of other things that people may not know is that musty odor that you smell mm -hmm. is coming from water penetrating into your substrate, which could be coming under the floor or through the walls. A couple of other things, you have a, uh, something that's called efflorescence. A lot of people don't know what that is, but the, the easy way of turning that over in layman's terms, if you will, would be any porous surface, water can infiltrate that area. So what it does after it dries is leave a salty looking deposit on the wall. You rub that and it looks like salt falls down. You've got some water coming through that's not made it detrimental yet, but is about to. And then of course, any visible fungal growth. Now the issue with fungal growth is a lot of people say, well, I don't smell anything, everything's okay. That's not the case. There's about 13 different types of fungal growth that you cannot smell. And if it's behind plaster or drywall, you would not know until you do an actual test and see what you've got going on. So we also provide all of that as well. Perfect. And it's always better safe than sorry. I mean, always it's Always easier to have you in, run that test, and know for sure. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about prevention. Yes. Uh, we're heading into spring. We know we're heading into another rainy season. Is there any way to prevent moisture issues in our basement? Absolutely. So, you know, a correctly installed exterior or interior or both drainage system water management system is the best way that I really like to call it. So French drains outside and things like that, you hear a lot of people say, well, you know, I can, I can get one of those in there for you for a couple thousand dollars. That's only going to last a couple of years. So the best thing to do would be to have an interior sub slab drainage system, which comes with all different kinds of materials that will evacuate that air, which could be moisture laden air, or actual bulk water intrusion to get that out of the structure. Perfect. And obviously that's a service you can help us with and help us identify what our best course of action Absolutely. is as well. All right, uh, real quickly, I just want to talk about the issues a wet basement can cause. I know you kind of touched on that earlier, mm -hmm. uh, but we need to get ahead of it sooner rather than later. Absolutely. So great question, number one. A lot of people think that just a little bit of water is not that detrimental, but I use this term a lot. The Grand Canyon was an inch deep at one point in time. So with moisture coming in the outside of a home, it causes what's called hydrostatic pressure, where that water pushes in on a wall and can make that wall bow and collapse. Worse than that is if it goes underneath that wall and gets to the footing of the home, that's your number one building block of the home. So you would never know that. But what people can do is look inside of their home and see little cracks in the walls or squeaky floors. That means your building block has started to deteriorate pretty quickly. So those are like one of the main things that you can really see that's mm -hmm. going to happen there. But then you also have to consider with that moisture comes fungal growth. So there's tons of different types of fungal growth. Brown, black, yellow, blue. I mean, it's really mm -hmm. weird how many different ones there are. So that fungal growth can get on any framing member. And once that happens, it causes a wood destroying fungus, right. which will, that's where you get your squeaky floors from. And then worst case scenario is you've heard the term black mold, yeah. more commonly referred to as black mold. Uh, that is stachybotrys or can be stachybotrys, which is detrimental to your nervous system and your respiratory system. Mm -hmm. 
and there's no way that someone can just look at it and say, well, I know what kind of mold that is. Mm -hmm. You have to do a proper test and get that out of there. So the, the issue with the mold is your structure can be compromised due to water, but your health can be compromised due to that Absolutely. fungal growth. Your home and your health, both of your utmost priority for us, maintaining Absolutely. a healthy and active lifestyle. Of course, the best way to get started with you is to give you a call or visit you online. Absolutely. Perfect. All right, basement and crawlspace solutions.com. And Mr. Ernest is being very gracious today. If you mentioned that you saw us chatting today, then he is going to provide 10% off any uh, inspection or service that you may need. You can always give him a call to find out the details.